Dear students, welcome to the classroom. Today we are going to learn the new lesson of Introduction to Computers, Standard Sixth, Lesson Number Two, Windows, Files and Folders. So watch the video carefully. File. Dear students, a collection of information that is stored under one name is called a file. This information could be text, images, music, or videos. Dear students, on a computer, files are represented by icons. So, it is easy to recognize what type of file it is by looking at its icon. Here are some of the common file icons. This icon represents a text file. This icon represents a WordPad file. This icon represents a Word file. This icon is an example of picture image file. This icon is an example of audio or music file and this icon is an example of a video file. Folder The students, a group of files of similar type is called a folder. Here are two types of folders that you see on your computer. This icon represents an empty folder. It is usually named new folder until you give it a name. This icon represents a folder that contains file or other subfolders. Dear students, a folder can also store other folders. A folder within a folder is called a subfolder. You can create any number of subfolders and even a subfolder can have any number of files and other subfolders. Libraries Dear students, in Windows, libraries is a feature that helps you to store and organize your files and folders. By default, there are four libraries in Windows. Documents library, pictures library, music library, and videos library. Documents library. Dear students, it is used to store and organize text files such as notepad, wordpad documents, Word documents, spreadsheets, Excel, presentations, PowerPoint files, etc. By default, all files that you save, move or copy are stored in my documents folder in documents library. Pictures library. Dear students, it is used to store and organize pictures such as photographs or images from your camera, scanner or email. By default, all pictures that you save, move or copy are stored in my pictures folder in pictures library. Music library. Dear students, it is used to store and organize music such as songs that you pick from an audio CD or that you downloaded from the internet. By default, all music files that you save, move or copy are stored in my music folder in music library. Videos library. Dear students, it is used to store and organize videos such as clips from your digital camera or camcorder or video file that you downloaded from the internet. By default, all video files that you save, move or copy are stored in my videos folder in videos library. The next topic is open libraries. Dear students, to open library, click on start button on the taskbar. You will see the start menu. On the right pane of the start menu, you can see the three libraries, documents, pictures and music. Click on documents, you will see the documents library window. Click on pictures, you will see the pictures window. And click on music and you will see the music window. Now we will see the libraries window. Address bar. Dear students, address bar shows the address of library you have opened. Use the address bar to navigate to a different folder or library or to go back to a previous one. In this picture, the address bar shows libraries, documents, which means that documents is stored in libraries. Menu bar Dear students, menu bar contains different menus like file, edit, view, tool and help. Toolbar Dear students, toolbar is used to perform common tasks such as changing the appearance of files and folders, copying files to a CD, etc. 
the buttons on the toolbar will change accordingly to the library that you have opened. In this picture, you can see tools that are useful in documents library. If you open the pictures or music or video library, the buttons on the toolbar will be different. Library pen. Dear students, library pen shows the name of the library that you are in. The library pen is seen only when you are in a library like documents, music, pictures or videos. In this picture, you can see the document library. File list. File list shows the list of files and folders in the current folder or library. You can open a file or folder from this list. Navigation pen. Dear students, navigation pen is used to navigate between files and folders in your computer. You can see and open various folders and files from the navigation pen. In this picture, you can see documents highlighted because it is the one that we have opened currently. Details pen. Dear students, details pen shows the details of the selected file or folder in the file list. If you place the mouse pointer over a file or a folder, the details pen will show the name of the author, the date you last changed the file, etc. In this picture, the detail pen shows 18 items, the number of files and folders in document library. So my dear students, in this video, we have learned about files and libraries. So watch the video carefully to understand the lesson. And check our community tab section for exercises.